All right, we've got part two here of my Lavie and Rose project. Uh, guest design team uh, journal for Lavie and Rose for Taylor Made Journals, which is Lorna Taylor. The two kits that I've chosen are Lavie and Rose and the French Ledger Papers. The cover is made with this beautiful blush colored vintage lace and this stunning velvet piece here that is hand sewn and it is just so adorable. And then these beautiful strands of tiny seed beads and this, this silk, it's absolutely gorgeous. Tiny little flowers. I've used some blush colored uh, decor trim dangling. I've got a vintage heart shaped uh, crochet doily. And this is a vintage piece here. I thought it coordinated nicely with the beads up there and just a pretty little sparkle here. On the back of this journal, what I did was I cut the, on, on the two salvage sides of the fabric, this is about a probably two yards, uh, two meters, whatever, uh, piece of uh, vintage fabric that I got from Susie at Mary Not Martha. And so I cut just enough of the trim off the side to edge the back of my journal. Usually I don't do much on the backs of, of my journals. It's just it, hidden. So, and, and it becomes bulky to set it down. But this time I thought it just, I just had to do it. So I've got some coordinating scrapbook paper, basil scrapbook paper. And... Try to carry on here sorry about the dogs barking vintage buttons this was a whole set actually these are antique i bought these from an antique vendor and they are just beautiful i love them so much tea dyed pages sorry about that my daughter's dogs stay with us and they do that to me sometimes so let's go inside we've got this beautiful blush colored Sorry, silk, ribbon closure, and this paper inside is from the Stamperia paper collection called Precious. I absolutely love it. It's a coordinating, very soft green, and I just love the way it, it was. I, I haven't done any pockets inside, but I certainly could. If I were to make it like the other journal, I would put this card on here and then this in the back pocket. I've also got the uh, folder from the antique buttons that I used on the spine. So this one is titled Life in Pink, which is the translation of La Vie and Rose. Vintage lace on the sides, vintage textile and fabrics. We've got some stamping here and some stenciling done with the cosmic shimmer in the enchanted or sorry gold treasure gilding polish vintage ledger papers and the um stamping on this side some blush colored vintage lace here i've got a postcard journaling card with the texture paste that i used is the cosmic shimmer antique sand paste by Sam Poole, and this particular color is Opera Mauve. I thought it was just a really beautiful contrast to the blush. And I used my slotted punch, tied it with some crinkled seam binding, and tucked it into this beautiful vintage lace pocket. Got a sweet little rose charm here, heart-shaped charm on a bulb pin. Some fussy cut images from the ephemera pages of the kit. This is antique French lace absolutely gorgeous to touch this time i sheared it up the side of the page and adhered it and then stitched it down one of the side tucks from the kit and here is an envelope from the kit with the self closure one thing i want to learn how to do is the wax seals that is on my to-do list I didn't do any embellishing of the, uh, the envelopes because I was tucking them inside. 
So just some extra journaling paper there with the word journal stamp on the uh, lined page. This is one of Lorna's stamps from TaylorMade Journals. Beautiful image from the kit. And an, uh, just a piece of vintage lace attached to the paper clip here. This is one of the tags I made out of vintage wallpaper, stamped on the back with the definition of journal, which is another one of Lorna's beautiful stamps. Some fiber toppings and just some collaged or stacked fabrics here with a tiny tag. I love the texture of this. And this little pocket is made out of vintage lace handkerchief with one of the Beautiful rose-colored appliques from Nikki, which is Ravioli Dreams. This gorgeous bird here is one of the fussy cuts from the ephemera pages of the kit. And Sandra, I was thinking of you and your love of birds when I was working with this little guy here. Some vintage lace here, gorgeous, just so beautiful. And I just tied on this paper clip some vintage buttons. This one has a, a gold insert in the center and this one is just a, a beautiful pink rose colored button. Antique or vintage whatever. And that just hangs off the side sweetly. Some vintage fabric here. This is a booklet that I've just stamped on the inside with a rose for some extra journaling space there and a tiny tag with the ro word rose stamped on the back. Lots of space for journaling. Some more of the um, vintage pink fabric that I got and just gathered it and made a page edge here. Some stamping, page out of Macbeth, one of the fussy cut images from the ephemera pages of the kit, some line journal paper, Another gorgeous image we've got there and a pocket from the kit with some vintage lace stitched with pink thread stamped with one of my PSX rose stamps. This image of the swallows, beautiful, stamped a little birdie on the back. And this is just a background stamp to fill in the page here. I think it just adds nice dimension. I have tea dyed all the paper and put the sentiment up here that says La Vie Rose. Beautiful vintage lace trim. Here we've got a coin pocket that I've straddled over the side of the page with a little charm on my paperclip edge. And this is just an image here stamped with a rose on the back. Some beautiful vintage lace on this side using one of the ledger papers from the kit. This page has a little tuck spot here, a little pocket. Some more of the um, stenciling done with the texture paste. Backed onto parchment paper and stitched with pink thread. Some vintage pink lace, rose colored. Another gorgeous image from the kit. And here we've got a beautiful vintage lace pocket. Some rose stamping at the top off the edge of the page. And also on the, off the edge of this tag here, our journaling card. Lace, vintage lace pocket. And I've just got a, a sweet little dangle here. Some book page, vintage French book page. One of the images that I've fussy cut from the ephemera pages. And some stamping up here, more vintage lace on the edge. A gorgeous journaling card from the Stamperia collection uh, called Precious. Another one of the paper clips with some tea dyed uh, netted uh, Swiss dot fabric. Some stamping here, vintage sheet music, this gorgeous antique French lace, and this fussy cut image is my favorite out of the whole uh, kit. It's amazing. I think there are 13 journal pages and 18 pages of ephemera images to fussy cut out so it is a very full kit it's just fabulous to work with and I, I think I made a good choice with the coordinating ledger papers I thought they blended very nicely 
Here's just a little belly band and a journaling card that I've added here. Some stamping, some more of this gorgeous vintage lace or antique lace in that tan color and stitched with the pink thread. Here we've got the center of the signature using this beautiful vintage lace piece that I have, applique piece. That's it. I used the whole thing for the just the two journals here. It just fit so nicely. Got a decoupage tag on each side. This is using home decor tissue paper. A little thicker and more textured, soft textured. So it's different from our paper napkins that we use to do decoupage with. Some stacked fabric swatches here and a tiny little dangle that I made. Some uh, fibers as a tag topper. And I've got one of the uh, vintage enamel rose cabochons here, just with a little bit of the netting underneath it. Stamped on the back with Chateau de Versailles, which is one of Lorna's beautiful stamps. And then this one is made out of sachet paper or drawer liner. And as I mentioned in the part one video, when I ironed them on, it even just picked up a tiny powdery soft fragrance. It was so beautiful. I can still smell it. A tiny little dangle here that I've made. Another lace and fabrics uh, swatch and stamped on the back with the Vintage Market, one of Lorna's beautiful stamps. Go to support our Canadian girls. beautiful image on this page. It's just so pretty with the watercolor stamp of the rose. The back side of the ledger paper and here I've just got a tiny belly band with this tall tag that I've used a paper punch on the bottom, stamped it with a little birdie. And I chose not to put a tag top or anything on there. I just like the way it sat on top of the vintage sheet music. Some more of Sheila's beautiful eyelet cotton in the uh, custom dyed pink bundle and a rose that is stamped off the page as part it's part of a, a full great big stamp and same here i've got some more stamping some more book page one of the fussy cut images from the ephemera pages some french book page here I've got a vintage handkerchief and I've attached one of the beautiful appliques from Nikki from Ravioli Dreams. Some tags with these gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful roses. Just done some stamping on the back. This one is Prima, this one is Graphic 45. Love the fibers, love the fiber trims. And then a gorgeous stick pin which is made by Sheila. Look at this with the dangle. How beautiful is that? I'm gonna need some more of these, Sheila. They are just so beautiful. Gorgeous yellow rose image from the kit. And this slotted stacked pocket here with these tags. This one has some gold stenciling on it in the texture not texture paste, the gilding polish. This one has the word rose stamped on the back. Uh, image of the rose bud that's slightly off the page. And here's these tiny swallows and do a teeny tiny little card with one of the birdie stamps that I have. And this comes from the paper pack by Stamperia that is called Precious. Backside of the ledger paper and this beautiful vintage lace. A journaling card with a graphic 45 stamp on the back tiny little pocket from the kit this paper is white before you tea dye it so this image looks so different if you're looking at anyone else's uh, design team project or if you look at it in Lorna's Etsy shop it's going to look very different I just love the effect of tea dyeing it makes it look so vintage beautiful rose 
a fussy cut from the ephemera pages, some vintage lace, some more gorgeous vintage lace here. I've just attached some of the netting that I've tea dyed. This is an envelope from the kit, a blush colored vintage lace pocket, one of Nikki's beautiful custom dyed appliques. And this particular envelope is just a fold out. I did, have not glued it shut, so it's just an, a full page of extra space for journaling. And you can do your own wax tag on the back if you want. And what I've done here is stamp the word journal and tucked in an extra piece of note paper. Some more beautiful pages from the kit. Here I've got a little uh, collaged piece or a swatch of fabric and lace left over from my snippings here and a tiny little charm that says made with love on a pink bulb pin. Some more of that beautiful vintage seam binding that I took apart and made it into a ruffle. Some vintage book page. I love this page. I love it. I love it. I love it. This tassel is just so feminine and soft. It's gorgeous. Here what I did was I double stacked the tags and I made this one coming out the side and just attached this crinkled seam binding, stamped it on the back, stitched around with uh, pink thread and I used my slotted punch for the um, tag cut out at the top and that just gets tucked behind this big tag. Some stamping on the page here. What I did was I attached the lace first and then attached it to the page. So you could glue this down permanently and then you would have two separate spots for tags, one there and one there. And I have not seen this done anywhere else, so I thought it was pretty cool. I just love that effect, especially when it's sheer and transparent. You could see it shining through. Cute little tassel charm here. And this is made out of the scented drawer liner paper, decoupaged onto some pink parchment paper in the back. And fibers at the top. Gorgeous image of this yellow rose with some lined journal paper on this side. Another tag topper. This is a, I think this is a reproduction of a beautiful yellow rose, but it looks very vintage. And I just did some stamping on the back. Some of that vintage fabric, a little rose and a pink tassel charm off the side here, and a small journaling card stamped with the word rose that just matches the yellow. I don't use yellow very much at all, but this was, to me, it just really came together very nicely. Love it. The vintage lace with the pink stitching, another gorgeous embroidered vintage handker handkerchief here with some stamping, some stenciling on the uh, tags, and I did not stamp on the back because uh, it's already busy enough with the stenciling. Another gorgeous image from the kit, a sentiment dream that's part of the kit as well, and some beautiful vintage lace that I've ruched up the side and then stitched with pink thread. Another journaling card with gorgeous white roses, wild roses, Mine are blooming outside on our arbor. It's just beautiful this time of year. And my jasmine's blooming. It's so fragrant. Oh, I just absolutely love it. Here's a um, mason jar from the kit. And I just attached it. And you know what I meant to do? I meant to put some fibers around here. I even left that open so I could do that. And some journaling cards that stamped on the back with the word rose. And a prima stamp of a rose. There. So lots of little areas to do some uh, journaling and beautiful gold stenciling on this side with some vintage lace and stitching, stamp of a rose. This is a, a small tag or journaling card stamped with a Heartfelt Creations rose from many, many years ago. I've had that for a very long time and some of Sheila's beautiful custom dyed pink uh, lace. So beautiful, love it. And there is my logo, Vintage Elegance Inspiration. 
another beautiful yellow and green page. So that's it. That's my two journals. Oh, I forgot to show you my charms in the middle, my beads and my charms. So these are a little bit more muted color beads and the rose enamel beads, a silhouette rose charm and the rose 3D capuchon charm. So I hope you like my journals and are inspired to check out Lorna's kits for yourself. This one's very pink, very feminine, very romantic. Uh, I just found it very easy to work with, like I mentioned. I do have another one of her kits in mind that I'm going to do a periwinkle blue theme, and it is gorgeous. I can't wait. So thank you, Lorna, for this opportunity to use your beautiful images and create something that is just a pleasure to do. It was a real honor to do this for you. Thank you for your patience. Um, and I hope you you enjoy looking at this video. I hope you enjoy the photographs that I'm going to take next. And I do thank you for watching and for supporting and encouraging me for subscribing to my channel and leaving comments. I hope you're all having a great weekend and celebrate the arrival of spring. Thank you so much. Bye for now.